Coach Prayer. Welcome to uh, Delta, Ohio. This is not Blacksburg. Yeah, I can say this is the first time to Delta, Ohio. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's flat. Yeah, it's flat. Did you notice a that? Of, a lot of cornfields. Uh, I've heard about it, but it's good to see it for, for my own self. This camp is incredible. I mean, we're talking top 100 recruits left and right, man. Literally double digits amounts of them. I yeah. mean, it's an incredible place for you guys to come and, you know, you don't really have to turn many stones over right. coming here, but uh, what, what's Virginia Tech looking for? What are the Hokies looking for in a guy today? Um, I think really for myself, just, just getting eyes and, and seeing these guys. Some of these guys weren't, uh, they're not freestylers, so we didn't see them at Fargo. We didn't see them at, at tournaments over the summer and spring. So uh, to see some of these guys, some of these high school guys from especially from Ohio, Pennsylvania, I mean, all the best guys from Wisconsin, Minnesota. I mean, it's pretty, pretty cool little spectacle we got going on here. Uh, and like you said, studs wrestling each other, seeing what they're pushing each other, getting better. And not only the wrestlers and the recruiting aspect, but to see these these uh, club coaches learning from other club coaches what's working, what doesn't work, how to teach their kids. Just it's just a win-win for everybody involved in this. You have not coached college wrestling yet. It's like new to you, right? You know, you're an athlete, and now, you know, you coached a little bit with Oklahoma. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I've done a lot of college coaching. I've, no, I've, I'm saying, like, but you were an athlete more than you coached. Oh, no doubt. That's no what doubt. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You, you've been an athlete longer than you ever coached. Right. right. Over a decade, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, I, so it's got to be different for you, right? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I guess now that, now that I think about it, it really was, I mean, really only a year and a half, two years where I wasn't an athlete. I wasn't focused on myself um, to where I was, I was kind of playing the dual role. So, uh, yeah, it's... I, it's been fun as far as getting getting back in the groove with with Roby and, and Frank and really learning learning different different way of coaching, just really developing my coaching skills and what what I'm good at, where where my uh, my resources need to be allocated. Think about it. All those years you were doing the dual thing, it was you first. Now yeah. it is. Well, you got a family, so that's right. obviously they've been first, but. Yeah. But like now, it's strictly the athletes. You're right. no longer a competitor. Right. And you know, were you in high school? You were in Florida for a little bit. Yep. You went back and coached yep. high school. But yep. now you're back at the level where you, you know you're a player coach. Right, right. So and it's a different role. Exactly. And what's nice, we all, I also have guys like Frank and Tyler Graff and Walls and those guys where I can coach at, at that level as well and do the kind of the RTC freestyle thing, which is only going to help my my college coaching. And and I, I really I really feel like. That's what I was going to do as coach, and, and even though I was that du doing that dual thing the last 10, 12 years, um, it really, it ma me coaching made me a better wrestler. So I really put a lot into my coaching. Looking at the the competitor roles off the table now, it's strictly focused on athletes that are not yourself. Uh, what are you looking for in an athlete here? What are you focusing on a uh, future Hokie? What do you want to see out of a kid? What's the intangibles that you guys look for here? Well, what's nice about this, they're, they're all very high-level wrestlers. Uh, we're looking for the guys that are trying to get better. I mean, watch, watch the guy. I mean, I'm over there watching Asker and teach, teach technique because I want to learn something new. And, and to see these guys um, focus on that. They're not just, you know, you, you see some of these high-level guys at, at these clinics or camps. They're just kind of going through the motion and not trying to really let things sink in. And seeing these guys really dive into it, try and learn the position, something new that they've never seen, especially since, you know, funky like Askren showing. It's, 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 that's what we're looking for. Guys that are willing to go outside of their box, get better, come to these things when they don't have to be here. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a two-day event. These guys are wrestling the best guys, four sessions. Seeing themselves push themselves at a physical level. They're wrestling live now, watching these guys take it to another notch. Uh, you're no stranger to moving, you know, Oklahoma, Florida, now another move. I mean, how many moves have you had overall in coaching and, and being an athlete? A bunch. Boston to Colorado. I was at Harvard for my first stint for three years, and uh, then to Colorado Springs, then to Iowa for nine months, Wisconsin, Oklahoma, Florida, and we're going to be in Blacksburg a while. I, I, got, I have a pretty good feeling about that. Are um, you settled in? Yeah, we're settled in, bought a house, girls are in school, life is good, but a seamless transition, now it's time to build some champions for... Uh, the okay, you've got all girls, right? Your all kids? Girls, all girls, I'm good. You're did say I was gonna I'm ask out. you, are you done? I'm out, yes sir. You're <laughs> you're tapping I'm out. I'm tapping out. I yeah, love it. Yeah, but I've seen too many horror stories with you know six and seven girls for us trying us being the competitor trying to get the boy. We're good. Me and me and the wife are calling it quits. <laughs> Alright man. They're still scrapping. You got anything else for me? No sir. Hey, thanks for the time. It's always yeah, great seeing yeah, you. Man. Thank you.